Jack Smith. Our famous history of First United Methodist Church is, a, is quite long and quite loving. Uh, my grandmother and grandfather Smith, R.B. Smith, and and, uh, and his wife uh, had three children: George Smith, <clears throat> Bob Smith, and Thomas C. Smith. Our father George Smith was born in 1910. And he was brought up in this church along with the, of his brothers all during their life. They were brought up as young people. And in 1930, George Smith met Elizabeth Robbins. Of course, they met before then, but in 1930, December the 25th on Christmas Day, they were married in the sanctuary of this church. Jack and I were baptized in this sanctuary April 24th, 1935. And uh, all of our children, have been baptized in that sanctuary. Through the years, all of our family has pretty much sat in one section over, over in the church, over on the north side. When Jerry and I were young men, my dad taught us many things about life and about business and things that are not in a book. The most important things that I shall never forget is what he taught us about our relationship with the church and about our city where we live. He said, Boris, through your lifetime you want to do things that will make your church a better church in this city, a better city. And that's what Jerry and I have tried to do. We've worked in this church. Uh, well, personally for myself, I've been a part of every every part of the church, from the co-chairman of the ushers to chairman of the church council for three years in a row, and uh, served on all the committees. I'm very involved in the church today, as I always have tried to be. Uh, I'm a media past president of my Sunday school class, of which I'm very proud of. Uh, Co-chairman of the usher committee uh, for June and December now, which is a, which is a really a joyful job for Karen Morris and I. We enjoy doing that. Uh, as Jack just said, uh, I, I have been a member of, as he, a member of all the committees through the years, and and I continue to be here every Sunday that, that we're in the city of Jackson. During my lifetime, from what my dad expressed to me, I've tried to make this church by my talents and my gifts and my time to have this church to be stable enough be here 25, 50, 100 years from now. And it's always been something of, of, uh, of my attitude about the church. Anytime that I was asked to do something by a pastor or by anyone else, I never refused. Because I know God you know, wants us to be active. In the... You can let it be known that I'm willing to do anything and then when you get involved and other people see what you're interested in doing and someone else will ask you something good and before long they'll keep you busy in this church. So you just want to let it be known that you love your church and you're interested to do something to help the church to grow. Well, you know, when, when people put the church the center of your life, you know, the Lord comes before your family. That's right. And, uh, the disciples, when they followed Christ, that's what they did. They left their families and they followed Christ. And that's what uh, we got to put our, put the church first and the Lord first. Because if it wasn't for Him, we wouldn't have a mother or a father or a wife or children or anything. So we have to look to Him first.